Minsan, darating ang panahon na kailangan mo nang makipaglaban. Kailangan ihanda mo ang iyong sarili. Eso, primos! Primos, primos! For this video, we're gonna do some hand washing of our wool merino shirt. It is the best shirt for traveling. It doesn't stink. It keeps you cool when it's hot and it keeps you warm during cold days. Konnichiwa! Hello, mom, sir! <laughs> I usually wash my clothes every three nights if I don't have time to go to the laundry and usually you don't. If you're hopping from one city to another, like if you're hopping from uh, one Southeast Asian country to another, mm. Oh, nice and warm. Or one Central American country to another. Almejas. Wham. Fascinating. Langosta. Hello, Baldinga Cheese. Mamon Chino. Antigua Catedral of Managua, Nicaragua. Or if you're traveling throughout Africa. Moroccan minty. Wait, wait, wait. And today, for this video, we're gonna be doing some hand washing of some unbound merino wool shirt. That's the brand I'm, I'm using. It could be any shirt. I'm just gonna show you how to hand wash them, particularly merino wool shirt. I'm gonna include Miss Calcetines, my socks. The chonies is not gonna be in this video. Silly. One of the few things we're gonna need is some hanger or some uh, somewhere to hang your clothes. And I'm gonna explain it to you why. First off, we're gonna be doing some hand washing in the sink and we're gonna be using some uh, laundry uh, bar soap. So wherever you're traveling, you're gonna find them local laundry bar soaps. Like from Mexico, they have the pink soap, the pink laundry soap called Zote. Primos, I'm sure you've heard that, you've seen it. They also have white ones, but the, uh, the more popular one is the pink one. In Jamaica man, they have the Blue Power Laundry Soap. And in the Philippines, they have a few uh, varieties and one particular brand I like is Perla. They have white, they have blue, and they even have uh, the variety called Papaya. It's like orange soap. And believe it or not, people actually use it to uh, take a bath because they believe it's gonna help them lighten their skin. We gotta fill the sink with some water. Turn the water. We wash our wool shirt with the uh, cold or cool water. You don't wanna wash it with the hot water. The uh, warmest you can do is warm water. You soak in for a few minutes. Do your thing. Check out your email in the internet. Take a shower. Or actually you can take a shower with your clothes. Instead of washing them from the sink, you can uh, give yourself uh, a, a shower give your clothes some bath, same thing. Or you can take a shower with your clothes on and just soap it up with a uh, laundry bar soap. You can, uh, you wanna kinda massage them a little bit, kinda loosen up the dirt. Then uh, let it sit there for a few minutes. Like I said, check your email, do something else. Let it sit there for a good 15 minutes. Alrighty Primos, now that the uh, clothes, shirts and socks are soaked, it's time to do some hand washing. With the soap and your shirt, you kinda like that, yeah, see? You scrub them with it. You hit them where you need to hit them, like armpits. Especially, especially for those dudes who have uh, some extra body odor. That's normal, I mean, for you, for those people. Lucky for some people, like more. I don't have to use uh, deodorant all the time. What you do is like that, like that. And you do it all over your shirt, the chest, the back. And basically the whole thing, you know, just, just sing a song. Think of uh, the many good things you gonna do tomorrow 
How you gonna sleep good tonight? Because you have clean clothes tomorrow. Oh, what kind of street food you gonna try tomorrow? And then once once you're done with the whole thing, you can actually flip it. You don't have to do both sides, but I like to do both sides with soap. Like so. And shout out to Amba Marino. See that? After him, you hit the armpit. Especially if you're in a tropical country. Like that. So, you know, you're gonna have some uh, good smelling armpit. And of course, the neck. Especially when you're sweating. You'll be sweating when you're having fun. You kind of. This is what you do, it's when you do the uh, soap, like that, right, you scrub them. We call it couscous in the Philippines, couscous in Mubebe, like so, not couscous from Morocco or Algeria. See, you do this for the whole part of the shirt, all sides, front and back, and then and then you massage it. I mean, you can scratch it like that. You can scrub it like that. Massage it. And after you massage this, you can actually let it soak again before you rinse them. And we're gonna rinse them once we're done soaking them. I can go back and check my email again, read a few more pages of my book, and uh, I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna take a shower. I already did take a shower. I'm ready, see? This is my sleeping shirt. My white Unbound Merino wool shirt. Shout out to uh, Unbound Merino for uh, hooking me up with uh, the bright white. It's time to rinse them. So you keep massaging them. What you do. Plus the water. Make sure there's no water in the sink. And I rinse the sink. So the uh, dirt impurities will be gone. And plug it in again. You don't want to waste water. So let's do this first. Scrub them, scrub them. Scrub them to get the soap out. You see the uh, impurities coming out. You can wash them one time. You can wash them one time. I like to wash them a couple times, like my rice. Plug it again. Now this uh, this should be uh, cleaner than the uh, previous one. So I'm gonna rinse this thor thoroughly. There you go. Turn up your water. That should be good. Ring them. Loosen it up. Smell it. It smells so good. If you have the plastic ones, they're smaller and thinner. So you may want to use five of those. I'm using three of these uh, fat wooden ones because when you're hanging shirts with the hanger and you're only using one, it's gonna get that little uh, tiny nipples. And it's gonna look funny when they get dry because you're gonna have those uh, sticking out you know, like that, pinch nipples on your shoulder. If you're gonna hang them on your hanger, make sure you use multiple of them, like this ones, and then you can hang them like this. And you let it hang there for uh, overnight, or maybe a whole day. Yeah, get the water out. And pretend you're uh, 
your matador and the bull is running towards you see and you're not even killing any bull right now he's drying clothes Woo! Et voila clean shirts primos so what you do is hang them in one of those bars the towels is not gonna have the funny lines and if you use the uh, the hanger it's not gonna have the the funny nipple hang them And you have some new fresh shirts for tomorrow. If you have learned anything from this video, you can now be more confident that you can hand wash your own shirts so you can go for longer travels with less luggage. You can travel with three shirts, you can travel with less shirts if you know how to hand wash your clothes, your chonis, your calcetines, your socks, or your camisetas so that you don't have to carry a lot of stuff. For me, the best traveling shirt is the Merino wool shirts. We don't have that in Southeast Asia, so I had to get it uh, in uh, the Americas. Ordered it online from uh, Amdon Merino, and I've been traveling with these shirts since I got them. They're very comfortable, they're very convenient, they're very easy to take care of. Uh, you cannot uh, machine dry them so hand wash hang dry no drying with a machine you can wash them in a the machine i've done it with a machine but i dry them uh, in my room so that it doesn't shrink wool shrinks if you guys enjoyed learning how to hand wash your clothes from this video primos give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and we'll see you we'll definitely see you ohola on our next videos mahal mas maganda ka pa sa kulay anyways ganda so this is what we do we try to walk every day we've been walking at least uh, averaging six months a day our goal is to walk 10, 000, I mean, uh, 10 miles a day. Try to get rid of my my tummy. I think it's working. I fit in my clothes better. I sleep better. Yeah, I feel better. I can't wait till they open up the borders, all the airports, and to be able to travel freely. Tin 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 t